for the first separation from the previous problem we know the mole fraction for carbon tetrachloride is equal to 0.343 therefore the mole fraction for chcl3 will be the will be equal to 1 minus the mole fraction of carbon tetrachloride which gives us the mole fraction of chcl3 as 0.657 we can determine the vapor pressure we can determine the vapor pressure of any compound just by multiplying its partial vapor pressure into the mole fraction using this formula we can determine the vapor pressure of chcl3 and ccl4 the partial pressure of a solution is proportional to the mole fraction of a compound in vapor let the mole fraction of carbon tetrachloride in the vapor be equal to x mole fraction of carbon tetrachloride and same for the chcl3 substituting in the values we have the mole fraction of ccl4 equals 0.258 therefore the mole fraction of chcl3 will be 1 minus the mole fraction of ccl4 equals 0.742 for the second separation using the same formula as earlier we can determine the vapor pressure of chloroform in the beaker along with the vapor pressure of carbon tetrachloride which turns out to be 0.39 atm and 0.0913 atm respectively now we calculate the mole fraction of component in the vapor above the solution using this we have mole fraction of carbon tetrachloride as 0.189 and the mole fraction of chcl3 as 0.811 for the third separation using the same formula we can determine the vapor pressure of chloroform in the beaker along with the carbon tetrachloride from the results we can conclude that we can separate the mixtures of component using the distillation method this is because the mole fraction of chloroform in the vapor above the solution increases after each distillation hence we can separate chloroform carbon tetrachloride using this method